My name is Ahlam and I'm the writer of You Bury Me. I write under a pseudonym and prefer to remain anonymous. So the cast of You Bury Me are my spokespeople today. I think people underestimate audiences and by people I mean theatre and arts institutions. I get asked a lot, who is the audience for this? I get most excited when my audience is mixed, a mix of ages, genders, experiences, cultures. I do believe theatre is for everyone. I trust audiences and I find it interesting to see what resonates with some and not with others. We're not homogenous, so I'm not interested in seeing audiences have the same reactions or experiences of the work. I think British institutions find it difficult to place me. What I write doesn't fit into their expectations of what a migrant woman or an Arab writer should be writing about. When you're talking about heavy themes and dark political moments, there's this want to make it trauma porn. It's the framework that many theatre establishments in Europe are more comfortable with. You Bury Me got rejected many times because producers thought it didn't tackle the politics with enough weight. But the play has always been about the lightness within the dark. It's about the warmth and humour and love in the face of oppression. I found audiences to be receptive to that, but yet there's this pressure for it to be only one thing, which is trauma-driven. So when I won the Women's Prize, it just felt like this, this great boost in confidence, like I'd finally found my place in the British playwriting scene. And honestly, I had absolutely no expectation of winning it. I entered just to have my work read by the readers, just to see if they might say they liked it or saw something in it. To win really made me believe in what I was trying to do. And then developing the play with Plains Plough and our director, Katie Posner, felt like such a privilege because they understood what I wanted to do. There was no pressure to make it one thing. 